Early game skyblock is tough. All the mobs one shot you. Making coins is literally impossible. So in this video, I'll be giving you guys 3 beginner tips to speedrun early game. I'll be doing this on a relatively new profile. So the first thing you need to do is reach skyblock level 7 to use the bazaar. The best way to gain skyblock XP at early game is by grinding fairy souls and collection. I recommend grinding all the easy collections like farming, foraging, mining and some combat. For me, level 3 is the sweet spot for all collections. You should also pick up any fairy souls nearby. You can find them by using the slash neu souls command if you are using the neu mod. It should take around 2 to 3 hours to reach skyblock level 7. Now you'll need some coins to start the other steps. So sell all the items that you got while grinding skyblock xp and then go to skyblock.bz and find the best npc flips. Then buy those items from the npc and sell them to the bazaar. Once you've made around 100k coins, you can either start craft flipping or regular bazaar flipping. You should be able to make 10 million coins in a few hours. Also, if you've unlocked the garden, you should use the composter as it's a really good passive money making method. I'll also link a website where you can find the best crops to make compost. I don't recommend buying low tier crops though as you'll have to spend a lot of time traveling between the bazaar and your private island. Also, I see a lot of beginners making this mistake. Never use biofuel. Cause oil barrels give you a lot of fuel and are a lot cheaper. So only get biofuel if you cannot find oil barrels for less than 60k coins each. So I bazaar flipped and made a million coins. But you should be able to make more as I only bazaar flipped for a few minutes. Cause it was really boring. The next thing you need is combat 24 to enter the crimson isles. The best way to gain combat 24 is by grinding the bestiary. Some really easy bestiary mobs are any private island mob. Build a platform under your island and wait for the mobs to spawn. The next really grindable mobs are the ones found in the deep caverns. The next ones are the spiders found here. You could also try leeching arachne but it's really difficult without actual gear. You can also buy an aurora staff and grind low tier slayers. And later you can try grinding zealots with the staff and full ender armor. You can get ender armor from the endermen over here. According to my math, it should take around 10 hours to reach combat 24. For the armor, I would recommend grabbing 3 pieces of necrotic aurora armor. Cause it gives more mana compared to wise. It should set you back around 2.7 million coins. You'll also need spider boots, which will set you back around 600k. I would also recommend grabbing a level 70 plus sheep pet, which should set you back around 3 million coins. And finally, you'll need a charminizer that should cost around a million coins and the atominizer that should cost around 3 million coins. So the total cost should be around 10 million coins. You can try grinding zealots or bazaar flipping if you don't have the coins. Once you've acquired all the stuff, it's time to grind the mobs. If you go to this part of the crimson isles, you should be able to find 3 different kinds of flying head things. The X, the Y and the Z. You will need to farm all of them. X's are quite easy. All you do is stand under them and then you double jump by pressing jump and then sneaking midair. And once you can reach it, right click it twice with your atominizer. But I found an even better way to grind these mobs. What you do is, you right click them once with an atominizer to harvest one X and then you use a charminizer to make them follow you. Repeat the same step with another X and you should be able to create a Y. Then find two more X's close by and do the same thing we did before and you should have two Y's. Now do the same thing you did to the X's and you should be able to get a Z. Then use your atominizer to harvest two Z's. Then rinse and repeat until you have eight stacks of Z. And then craft the synthesizer V3. Now for a few quick tips. Don't forget to bind your shift key to left click for maximum efficiency. I recommend drinking a jump boost potion to make this process much easier. 
You can also try and find a lobby where someone is grinding the cows. You can also try and lure the cows away from your farming area.